Well, good morning, paddlers. I'm just about to head off uh, back out with the Easy Light 10 on the River Hull, but I'm going to a different spot today. I'm going further up, up north. Uh, but that ain't this video. That'll probably be in my next video. <clears throat> I forgot something very important to do with the Easy Light 10 when purchasing it. Right? And I'd hate somebody to make the same mistake I made. So I'll tell you the story, it'll be easier to explain. Right? I went on to see Eagle's website, I saw that book, right? Ken White in did a review, the uh, Kayak Cliff did a review, I thought I want one. Went on to see Eagle's site in America, spotted it. And I ordered it from them, right? They said it backdated, I had to wait about a month, which I knew about, right? Fine. And uh, I got uh, an email from Sea Eagle in America, right? Confirming me order and everything, which was brilliant. And then I think it was, I could be wrong here, but it's not important. So two days later, I received another email, right? I can't remember it word for words. So in my words, uh, we know you've purchased the the Easy Light 10 from Sea Eagle. Uh, we're able to cancel that order. You can get it from us. You'll you'll save about two hundred and fifty pound. So shall we cancel the order? And and I thought straight away there's a scammer going on. Somebody's trying to scam me here. So I actually sent them an email back. Uh, say it look clear off I know you're a scammer if you contact me again I'm informing the police get lost type thing and then I sent Sea Eagle in America an email and telling them all this I said look I'm trying to get scammed somehow the fan got into I think they've hacked you basically because they know I've ordered a kayak and from you and you better check your software and it looks like you're being hacked and scared all that sort of stuff <laughs> well I got a message back an email back from Sea Eagle right basically saying no 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 George don't panic we give them your details <laughs> Uh, so what happens is uh, when Sea Eagle in America, if you order from them, uh, now I don't know exactly where else in the world where this would work, so I can only use my, what happened to me as an example. Uh, but if you live in the UK, this is probably other places too, like France, Germany, Switzerland, you know what I mean? Uh, but definitely if you live in the UK, right, if you order a kayak from Sea Eagle, I suppose anything else, but if they have an, uh, an outlet store or somebody who supplies and stocks their products near, nearer to you, right, as in the UK, they'll transfer your details over, <clears throat> let them know. And that way you're not paying a huge amount of shipping from America or any import duty or anything like that. And how it turns out that it was, uh, <laughs> I'm not even as a joke, I nearly said sand then. But bloody hell, I've got that because of the accident stuck when, when them kids threw me off throw. I've got that stuck in my head now. Spin drift. They pass my information on to Spindrift UK because they was expecting the Easy Light 10 to come into their stock in the UK. So that way, as I said, I would save on shipping and import duty. Once they'd explained that to me, I got back in touch with Spindrift. Uh, and I said, look, I'm really sorry, I did not know. <laughs> right. I thought it was some sort of scam and all this sort of thing. Right? And Mark from Spindrift was extremely understanding. Right? The way the email read that he sent reply to me was, I think he had a laugh about it. It was very understanding. Right? And that way, when I got, I got a full refund 
right, from America, from Sea Eagle USA. I got a full refund. And then I rebought it from Spindrift. Right? The first time, the first lot of emails, they could have done all that for me. You get me? But so what I had to do was I uh, Sea Eagle in America cancelled my order. I got a full refund about three days later, something like that, back into my bank. And then I reordered it from Spindrift UK. And that way I saved about £250 on the actual boat because there was no shipping. Well, and shipping was free from Spindrift anyway. So all I did was buy the boat, right? So there was no shipping from America, no import duty. So I saved a lot of money. Uh, now, all that is fantastic, right? But, and it's a great thing, and it really is a good thing that Sea Eagle do, because they don't have to mess about like that. They might say, right, we've got his order, send him the thing, he can pay the money, right? But because they're such a good company, doing that really does help the customer. Like I said, I saved just over £250. Right? It, it is, I suppose, it's a shame that Sea Eagle didn't send me an email first to say we're passing your details on to Spindrift. That would have made life a bit easier. But, you know what I mean? Maybe it was just a slight oversight or maybe that's not the way they do things. But it's just a warning in case that happens to you. It's always best to double check though. If you do order some up from anywhere really in America, Right, because other companies could do this, and somebody else email contact the original buyer, as in where you the original person selling the product that you placed the order from, just to double check. But don't start calling people scammers <laughs> like I did with Spindrift. Right, so to sum up, you're better off ordering from Spin if you live in the UK, order your boat from Spindrift, it'll save all. All the hassle, Spindrift UK. Should point that out because that's their name. Uh, so order it from Spindrift. However, uh, if you do or have happened to order from Sea Eagle and you get this sort of weird email y thing, I've explained what's going on. All right, then, I, I just wanted to clarify that, right? just in case. Now, time's getting on and I want to hit the water. I want to be out there early today. Well, early-ish. Right. So, yeah. Right, I'm going to uh, leave it there then, paddlers. And uh, hope, they, hope this helped. If there's any questions, if that sounded confusing, if there's any questions, just ask me. But to sum up, if you want this kayak, or they're a good company, so other gear as well, or other kayaks, and they are a good company, right? Because they was extremely helpful with me and everything, and the back and forth was great. They've been in touch since. I left a review. They even emailed me to say thanks for the review. They appreciate it. Uh, so they're a back and forth company, Spindrift. So if you are after anything else, I suppose you can try them. Okay, there are other kayaking shops. I've mentioned other kayaking shops in other videos. I'm not saying you can't use other kayaking shops. I'm just letting you know that this is a good company, right? One of many. There you go. That just keeps everybody happy. One of many. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it there because, uh, as I say, I'm just heading out now. I'm just heading out. I'm going up north uh, and hitting the second spot of the uh, river rule. So something different for you to see in my next video. Okay then paddlers, uh, hope this helps. Any questions, just in the comment, you know what to do. Okay then, cheers.